Well gone guys, it's your boy Jack aka The Ball and Briefer Coming out to today's video, which is another update on the Koi Farm build um, Rocking the new merch, this is the signature edition It is bright, it is warm uh, And it is on the website, reeforquatics.com um, Getting this in today, need to nip off the screw fix in a sec, get some CT1 um, So I can uh, CT1 in the bottom of my bottom drain. It's currently minus three degrees outside, and obviously the jumper's keeping me dead warm. But in all seriousness, the polytunnel, let me spin you around, is working an absolute dream. Oh, yeah, we've named it as well the Koi Academy. A screenshot of comments of the week popping up there from Pops, and he had a fantastic justification for it. He's like, why don't you call it the Koi Academy, son? Because not all fish are created equal so not all fish are gonna make it and i was like you know what that actually works really really well so this tunnel is now aptly named for the queer academy it is so warm when you stand by this i mean literally so warm um but let me spin your back round because i'm going to talk you through exactly what i'm doing today so the plans have changed we are not going to be putting ponds here, 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 and at the back. I've kind of just thought about it and thought, let's go big or go home. I'm going to put a 7,000 gallon here, a 7,000 gallon here, and a 7,000 gallon here. So you'll walk in through the doors, and then this here will be your main walkway down. There'll be a two meter gap in between each polytunnel. And I've actually bought these stakes here as well, so I can actually stake out the ground because I've got Daryl and the lads over on Friday on the digger, getting all of that sorted for me. Um, so it's roughly, internal measurements are gonna be five meters by four meters by about 1.8 meters deep. So we're gonna go into the ground uh, around, uh, around 800 mil, because obviously we're gonna be putting in uh, a six inch sub base, two bottom drains, filter area here, a filter area here, filter area here and filter area here. We're going to be running wide mouth skimmers on them, uh, going into a backy shower, and we're going to be running some pretty beasty filters in here as well. Um, you can see where the frost is starting to thaw off already inside of here. Uh, our drainage runs are going to be put outside, so we're going to dig down underneath the polytunnel. But each one of the 7,000 gallon ponds is going to have uh, two bottom drains in each one. It's going to have around sort of 35 to 50,000 uh, flow per hour per uh, filter that we're putting on. And each one is gonna run two uh, bio filters. There is also a project that I'm doing with Seabra's lad, Scott at Koi Ponics, channel link above, uh, for a hydroponic system that is gonna go on the uh, sides and backs of each one um, of these pond systems. So that's gonna be a fantastic build. Um, but let me snap back to you in a second. Actually, I'll tell you what, we'll go outside and I'll talk to you about my other bits and bobs that are coming. So my 40 foot container is landing here either this Thursday or next Thursday. So we'll have uh, eight foot by eight foot square of lab, 16 foot, um, sorry, no, 24 foot of office and then another eight foot by eight foot, uh, toilet and bathroom unit um, on the end. So it'll have a toilet, shower, sink uh, in there as well. So obviously when we've had a uh, big messy dirty days at the farm, uh, we can get that sort of thing sorted. But yeah, it's looking it's looking incredible. It's starting to look like a koi farm. Obviously I wanna get my filtration units off the back there now and get them in here because I wanna make use of both of these uh, vats that I've got here. Um, we'll be blocking up uh, inside of this tunnel next week. But today, like I say, is a matter of staking out the polytunnel. Uh, and also fitting the uh, the box weld liner to this and actually securing it down uh, to the bottom of the retro fit bottom drain. I'm just going to be showing you that. Now it does look like it's out, but it's how far out the ground is. If I come down, look at that. Two mil it is with intolerance, two mil. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the liner in, unfold it all out, make sure I'm nice and happy with it all. Um, and then I'm actually going to go ahead, go in, uh, just screed off the last little bit where my footprints have been, 
uh, even though it is quite tough now. And then we're actually going to secure my uh, my line out onto there uh, and show you a detailed view in regards to exactly how I'm going to do that. But let me snap back to you in a second. Once we've got the liner in, I'm showing you exactly how I'm going to cut it to get it all secured. Um, fitting my upflow piece on here. Then we'll be bailing the water out of there into here and then moving the fish across into here as well. It's going to work far better on a bottom drain system than it is on the pump fed system uh, that we've got over the back on there. Let's go. Okay, so uh, me and Lee have just put the liner in. Obviously, I've got my shoes off so I don't go through it or anything like that, but it's holding up really, really nice and taut now. Obviously, we've got pretty much all the creases out the bottom. The actual hole, as you can see, sits right around in here. Now, on this disc here, there's actually little pinholes where we actually put bear with me let me grab them he says these screws here inside of the uh, the actual pinhole but what i actually need to do first off which is quite daunting <laughs> is actually cut a hole in my liner here then we've got a ring that's on top of the generator that lee's going to grab me now and we've got two tubes of ct1 so what we've got to do is literally cut the hole in here so we can actually get underneath lay a bead of ct1 all the way around um, and then we're going to lay a bead of CT1 on the top but first we're actually going to poke holes in here so let me get that let me cut this here and poke the holes in and then I can actually lift it up and show you exactly how we fit a line to a bottom drain let's go okay now all I've done then is put my <clears throat> circle top for my bottom drain on and then literally just cut a hole in the middle if I lift this up now you should be able to see just there they have actually got grit and sanding um, where this ring here actually needs to screw down onto. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go through and dry fit these screws inside the hole, uh, just to get that grit out. And then I can actually put this on and we'll just get a sharp, we'll just get a sharp um, instrument and we'll basically just find the holes and we will just literally nibble in exactly where the hole is so we can match it up onto that rim there. Okay, so I'll put a mountain of CT1 down. What I'm gonna do now, if you let go, Luke, let go. We're just gonna gently, bring this out back down because we want it to sit nice and even what we're going to do then is i've already punctured one hole in here so i'm going to put this on the top but first i'm going to put a squiggle of ct1 on that then i'm going to press it down into place and then i'm going to show you ratchet it into place let's go well she ain't pretty but she works full gunker ct1 on the inside each one of the screw heads had a big gunker ct1 and obviously i'll put a big ring around the outside obviously you're not going to see any of these wires would i have liked to have used black ct1 yes could i get any no was i going to use white yeah so it is what it is but that's that job done i think i've got more ct1 on me than i have the bottom drain but you know what if she holds she holds that's all i really care about right now, right about now but it's freezing I've got no socks on. oh well i've got socks on but i've got no shoes on so time for me get in the car i'll snap back to you all tomorrow when i'll show you out the polytunnel that we pegged out let's go snap back the following morning as promised uh still looking lovely and frosty up here look at that for a view man oh i love my job uh let me spin you around there and show you what i've pegged out let's go okay so lovely and frosty outside lovely and warm in here i reckon it's got to be 10 12 degrees in here easy easy okay so the pegging out that me and daryl did yesterday so when you first come in three thousand gallon pond here three thousand gallon pond here split with a wall off here both filtration units are going to sit there this pond here this one here is going to be three thousand gallon split wall three thousand gallon <coughs> this bottom drain is going to lead up to a filter that's there this one is going to lead to a filter. It's there. This one at the back is roughly going to sit around six and a half thousand gallons. Two bottom drains going into a big, big filter bed down here at the back. Um, what we've got to do now is basically we're going to we're going to dig down around eight hundred mil. So we're going to have a four-inch uh, sub-base floor in there. 
four to five inch sub base floor and I'm going to come out the ground uh, around 1.4 meters which is going to situate the top of the pond around here so you'll be stood there like so looking in but what we're going to do is because we've got to grade off the floor and that we're going to slightly increase the height of the floor we're going to run all these railway sleepers all the way down and around the front edge which in turn is going to allow us to backfill that and then build up so we'll we'll gain an extra uh what a six seven hundred mil uh by the time we've built all the floor up um so in essence you'll be looking over 1.2 not 1.4 that it actually comes out of the ground uh i've got darren the lads coming down friday which is tomorrow um so they're literally you're going to start at the back dig that one out dig this one out and dig the bottom one out we're then going to order uh all of the concrete i think it's going to be about nine cubes of concrete that we need to order to get that put down uh all the wire meshing in four inch pressurized piping etc etc um so yeah that's going to be a dream to get that in tomorrow but like i said earlier we have officially named it the koi academy because not all koi are made equal and not all koi are actually gonna make it but let me just you know shut my soft closing new pvc doors one finger oh he says no it looks frozen there you go no it's shut the lock was frozen still got soft closed upvc doors um but yeah it's looking wicked over here now let me spin you around and uh, show you the bottom drain that we got in yesterday so there you go she's in she's by and no means pretty but she works let me uh climb on it And show you guys this well yeah like i say she's by no means pretty but she does indeed work nice solid seal around there there's no gaps or anything like that so all that works uh, a dream also by the time we've got our dome on our dome's roughly going to sit around half an inch off this uh white track here so we're going to be absolutely splendid there and yeah that's all cured and gone off so I'll be running that on the digger video at the same time. Um, I'm actually having a day off tomorrow for once. Oh, York Coy's ringing me. Let me ring you back in a sec. So yeah, that was York Coy that was phoning. Uh, me and Lee's going to box up some fish now because we've got to do some deliveries. Um, but yeah, rocking and rolling. Um, that's it for this one. Uh, just showing you everything that we're doing, finishing off the pilot tunnels staking everything out everything is looking fine that we dozing out and it is definitely starting to look like a cool farm uh there are plenty more working weekends coming up um if anybody is watching that knows how to block or knows how to build obviously i know how to block and build i've got one uh cement mixer down here um for once this concrete base here has been poured uh reach out like i say we're uh, we've got all the blocks got all the sand got all the cement uh just need to get building the bloody things now um so yeah I'm, uh, I'm going to get down the barn, bowl some fish up, do some deliveries uh, from our auction fish that we do. We're going into heated ponds. So, yeah, it's been incredible. Stay safe, stay sane. Most importantly, people stay happy. Baldy and Reefer, out. <laughs>